Hi friends, I'm here today with some nice painting glass. So, let's see, I'm just using some nice colors here, some red, black and uh, some leaf green with some yellow, light greens and all. So here you go, I just started to paint this flower. What I do, I just take my brush into some red and some black and then give it a nice one stroke look. So, before you using black anywhere, make sure that you use much, much, much lesser than the necessary quantity. So, my red is too good and you can hardly see my black here. That is how it is supposed to be. When your black dominates, the whole look of the... See, in this, I have got black a little more. So, black usually dominates what we wanted to do. So. Be very careful while you give it some. So I'm going on adding some nice flowers here and there and then I'll add the color of green leaves later on. So what I do, I just touch and then move. Just touch and then move. This is not really easy because you I really took a lot a lot of time for this. So you you gotta practice it well. Practice it well. Nothing is impossible, but you gotta practice it very well before you give up. When we first paint, we'll just come with these flowers, but the lines, the real leafy look, the structure and all, it might take a little time. But definitely it is not impossible. So go ahead. Give it a nice try sometime. You can just add it up with the center buds. So now, as we are reaching top, I'm keeping on adding the paint to my brush just to make sure that it is fully loaded with paint. So. There you go. And then there you go. See the lines there. That is why we need so much of paint on this. We need really, really loads of paint. Or else it's gonna lose its the bright touch. I'm just reach it retouching this. Ah, there you go. Just like that. Load your paint. And then give these strokes. Load some paint and then strokes. The one which she loaded, I loaded with paint and which I didn't. See the difference? The glossy, the difference. So keep adding paint to your brush all the time like for almost every single petal I would suggest that that's it so we'll add some final touches on later so before that I'm using the same brush to start using it with green I just washed it up, applied it well, and then a touch, touch of green now. For this, I'm using some nice green and some light green to start with. Again, dark green is very dominant, so we need loads of light green to make it look good on this. Let's try somewhere at the bottom first. Okay. So, um, usually the leaves, they look much uh, lighter at the outer edges and dark at the inside. So, my light green is going to go outside and then my dark green is going to go inside. Like that. Again, so... 
Pat away all the water from your brushes and then start working on it. Now I'm just giving it a touch of brown just to show that the leaves are a bit you no know, older ones. green and then brown green and then brown green and then brown keep loading your brush with paint do not forget that at all Or else all your work will be like so much disturbed with this one mistake. So now I'm gonna add my yellow as well. A little, a little, a little of yellow. Touch of brown, make some nice yellow and green. Like that. This is just a trial though, so before I do the bigger one, I'm just trying this on to see how this is going to turn up. So that. Just to add the green one near the flower, just use your, use your nice ideas and kind of do it's not really that tough. I'm just trying to more use to my flower. That should do. That is it. I don't think on much at all. I just went with the flow. When you draw these lines, make sure your brush is a bit slow. So just dip it in your medium a little, a little. Just touch of it and then load your brush with paint. Then draw your lines. Or else your lines are going to break and they are not going to look great at all. See? And then it's, it's, we are trying to give it kind of twigs kind of thing so a little bit 
more paint a bit something like that see like that just like that like that it's like adding Little touch of brown and green, you know. Okay. We could use a little more smaller uh, brush and then just give it some nice leaves here and there, just like like this, like this. See? Just keep on adding your, your ideas in there. Just maybe if you want to put twigs, you could just touch them a bit. Okay, now it is looking much cooler, isn't it? You literally could do anything you want because everything is twirling over and just Try it out, try it out, and then decide on no, this doesn't work, or yes, this does work. Or nothing is a one shot thing here. For sure. Oops, see? Paint. Work on it a little more so that. You yourself will find out that okay, this is not supposed to be here, or oh yes, this is supposed to be here. And one best thing that which I do is when you keep painting like this, you your brush will take some different different shapes. See this one, for example, it has broken into pieces in the middle like like this. See? The bristles uh, they just separated so when this happens you'll get different uh, shapes of leaves which is like really good you know and I, I'll never miss that part at all I'll use it in different kinds possibly now let's do one thing let's just top it up with some nice yellow I'm just reversing my brush like this I just dip it in the yellow and I'm just Doing some dabbing on my. Uh, before that, I think yellow is like literally looking very light, isn't it? Just pull back here. Let's just like this. Before that, I'll do one thing. I'll add a touch of black to my very light. Uh, this thing like this. We definitely need black where it is necessary to dominate our. Yeah, so just like that. I'm just scratching it out so that it will just give that flowy look. Don't over paint, but paint as long as you think that. This is now looking good as long as you think that okay this is enough this is looking good to my eyes do your best for every single painting do your best for every single painting do not just you know give up just so let's do one thing I'll just wipe my brush and just reorder it again. And I'll top it with yellow. Now, our yellow will come too much. Glory. Like that. See? Now, if you add yellow, you can see that yellow is in there. Where? Because the bottom black will look much.
No, it looks much, 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 much better, isn't it? See, as I said, there is nothing like. Okay, now it's done. It is nothing like that. So if I had more butterflies or some uh, ladybirds or some some more detail to my flower, if I, if if you feel me out like this, I'll just take darker darker red and I'll just give it an outline to this flower. Something like um, it is never enough enough. So but there is a very good one there. So you see, that is it. And this is just a shampoo bottle. I love to do this kind of things. And if you if you think this didn't work out at all, just put it on the tap, scrub it up, and it'll come as a clean board again. That's it. Thanks so much for your time. Cheers. Bye bye.